Hello, beautiful people on the internet, and welcome, or welcome back to my channel. Today, I have a sweet little cozy video. I'm so, 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 so excited for this one, and here's why. So if you guys don't know anything about me and my life story, first of all, I would recommend watching my breakup video, and that's just because it's like the manifesto of my life, like the culmination of everything that's ever happened to me to lead me up to this point, because it goes into a lot more than just my past relationship. But to summarize everything, the TLDR, at the end of 2023, I was an entirely different person. I was in an incredibly toxic four-year relationship with someone who just sucked all the life out of me. And said ex had bought a house for us in December of 2023. So when I was entering 2024, I had a completely different mindset. And that just happens to be the last time that I have touched my vision board and probably really even looked at it. My mindset at that time was we're about to enter this domesticated era, maybe get married, maybe have kids, all of that, you know, probably gonna quit my job and become a housewife. Like that was really it. At that point, I really didn't have a lot of like life plans for myself, it felt like. I was kind of just living for what my relationship was going to be. I ended up taking a two-week trip to Korea. I would also recommend watching that travel vlog. And that trip made me rediscover myself so much. I came back home, ended the relationship, moved to a different city, had like a little bit of a feral girl era for like less than a month, honestly. Have been really feeling like my free girl era lately, like spending too much money, having a little bit too much fun. <laughs> and I think I'm coming to a point to where I'm slowing down, I'm settling out. I want to rediscover myself and figure out what I want in my life. We're in an era of healing, discipline, healthiness, positivity, happiness, all of those good things. I think this is like the perfect time to do it because we are ending off our first six months of the year, which means we are officially halfway through. And just the immense amount of change that I have seen in my life in the past six months. Honestly, like, real talk, I've done some shit. I would have never imagined all of this would happen. Yeah, so <laughs> the first thing I want to do before I start redesigning a new vision board is to go back and look at my old one, analyze all the things that I was kind of feeling at the time, all of the things that I wanted at the time. Let's think about if I even want those things anymore. That way I can get an idea of what I want to put on my new vision board. So I think I'm going to kind of start with the top left part of the board because this has a very specific theme for me. So you see we have like some outfits, some hair, skincare. Essentially this was all a part of my like beauty regimen. I really want it to look put together in 2024, kind of start finding my personal style, figure out what hair I want to do, what my fashion style is, and kind of start developing a capsule wardrobe. I also just want to look more together on like a day-to-day -day basis, do my makeup more often, maybe figure out stuff like nails. Honestly, I feel like I'm getting there. Like what I was looking for when I created this I'm kind of already manifesting into my life. I mean, I already started the nails. These are like a little bit overdone. I just hit the month mark on this, so they need to be refilled. But I think they look good. I think they make me look more put together. I think I'm like coming to terms with my hair. Obviously this is kind of like faded out strawberry blonde and it's not actually blonde, but I definitely do think I like the bleached look a little bit more. And my roots are probably a bit more grown out than I would like them to be, but like I understand what my like prime hair looks like to me. It definitely is like that balayage look at least at this point in my life this is what I feel like most connected to and I think at this point I've kind of discovered how to take care of my hair so it's not super dry all the time it does not feel like straw right now it actually feels pretty soft so doing well oh I also got my ears re-pierced which is a big part of like put together look for the longest time I didn't have them pierced the only thing that I'm like kind of lacking on is style and that's just because I really can't afford to buy a lot of clothes right now but I'm getting there I'm figuring out better outfits I just need a bit more time to get like that capsule wardrobe going on there's also the word confidence in this part of the board which really comes with the beauty like I want to feel put together I want to feel confident when I step outside because I feel like a lot of days when my hair is not done, when it's all messy, when I don't do my makeup, when all my nails done, I cannot present myself in the way that I want to because I feel ugly. And I think at this point, I just, I feel so much more put together. I feel so much more happy. Like you really don't realize how much like you being in a bad mental place is affecting how you look until you've been happy for a while and you can see like the glow 
in your face and like like the happiness in your eyes like it shows so I definitely have been feeling more confident lately specifically in my looks but it's still something I would like to expand upon it's just not as pressing as an issue anymore now I'm gonna move on to kind of like top center there are a few different things going on but still similar subjects so I'm seeing a lot of health stuff in here I do have a girl running I do have a stocked fridge full of healthy food I have a girl meditating I have 75 hard I have some journaling some books this is probably the biggest priority to me right now but something that I have not acted upon like at all this year I have been so busy because the first few months of the year I was in my toxic relationship kind of just like arguing with my ex all the time and then I was in Korea then I was moving I still have been kind of focusing on getting my apartment set up I've been trying to get back on videos I've been trying to get back on track at work like I have so many things going on that it always seems like health is the last thing that I prioritize but in the next few weeks I'm gonna do a vlog at some point that's a health focused week in my life I'm gonna pick back up running pick back up strength training start clean eating a little bit more so hopefully that starts working out again but that's gonna be another like huge priority on this upcoming vision board because I really do want to manifest that into my life. Now let's start looking at bottom left. We kind of have like a lot of mixed things going on. The first thing I'm noticing is content creation stuff. I really did want to start focusing up on my YouTube this year. There's also that element of photography. I really wanted to start bringing back photography into my life and I've been thinking about it more and more lately as well. I do have 1k subscribers on there which is still a huge focus on mine. My icon has changed so I'll probably keep like some of this stuff on but then I'll have to like edit it a little bit so I'll probably change that to have my updated icon. But yeah that's definitely something I think I want to keep into the next vision board with more of a theme of like more videography stuff, more photography stuff. A couple random ones I'm kind of seeing are the Netflix one, the drinks, and the reading. I want to prioritize like relaxing a bit more in this year. Kind of having a really good work-life balance, like going really hard on my YouTube videos, going really hard at work, but also knowing when to stop and maybe having like an hour before I go to sleep to just watch TV, have a sleepy girl mocktail, have a morning routine, like do all these healthy habits. I've kind of fallen off the morning routine. I do want to start like developing a better night routine like maybe like 30 minutes before I go to sleep just like read. I'm still gonna keep this theme I think going on into my new vision board but this is definitely something I feel like I've been starting to implement more. I'm definitely having more like down days and it's been really really nice. I'm also seeing a couple themes of travel. That was something that was really heavily influenced by my ex. He kind of just took me places that I didn't necessarily want to go. In a way, I'm not complaining because I did see a lot of beautiful parts of the world, but it was never really my highest priority, specifically to do like outdoorsy stuff. So I think this picture, I think that's of the Tetons. I've already seen the Tetons, so like, I don't, I don't think I need to go back. This other picture was actually of Canada. Canada and we were gonna plan a Canada trip together and it's kind of funny because that's probably where I would be right now if I didn't end the relationship and I'm so happy that I'm not there. <laughs> I like I was dreading going on that trip so much. I mean it's beautiful and it really reminds me of Glacier and I love Glacier a lot. Like I still do like traveling. I just didn't like traveling with him. So yeah, I also have some tents down there as a PNG and once again this is just heavily influenced by the fact that I like was being peer pressured. I was trying to make him happy and this kind of brings me into the whole entire right part of the vision board which was so heavily influenced by what I wanted in my domesticated life and pretty much all all of these are gonna fucking just go. So in the bottom right, I do have two corgis because I really wanted a dog. I also have a golden retriever in there. I don't know where I was thinking we were gonna go from zero dogs to like three dogs. I was just feeling very ambitious apparently, but that was out of my control. I still very much would like to get a corgi. I don't think that's gonna happen this year though. So I don't think I'm gonna carry that over to this vision board, but yeah, those are there. I have a girl cliff jumping because once again, was trying to do the things that my ex did, even though I didn't enjoy it. So that's not coming alongside me. There's a ring on there. That's not coming with me. I do have a Christmas tree on here and that was inspired by the concept of like really embracing the holidays. A lot of that came from like a domesticated place, but a lot of that also just came from like a me place. Like I wanna dress up for Halloween. I wanna like bake cookies. 
I want to make gingerbread houses. I want to put up a Christmas tree because I haven't put up a Christmas tree in like probably four or five fucking years because no one wants to do it with me. And yeah, it sucks. So this year I'm probably going to put up a Christmas tree in my own apartment. Who's going to stop me? No one. There's some more travel stuff in here. I do have one of the Zion hikes. Even though I'm not like super big on travel anymore, I do still really want to do all of the major hikes in Zion. That's one of my like bucket list items. So maybe I'll make a trip out there again. I don't know. But I think that kind of summarizes everything. I already mentioned the confidence word, but I had like three main words that I was trying to bring into 2024. Confidence, freedom, and gratitude. Like I said, confidence, I talked about already. Gratitude Gratitude was really coming from a place where I was convinced that my toxic relationship would be healed if I was just appreciative of what I had. And if I told myself that like, it was okay that we were arguing all the time because at least I have a partner and at least uh, he takes care of me, I don't know. Yeah, that was not the case. I could not gratitude my way out of that. It was always gonna be toxic. So that kind of sucks because, you know, a lot of people paint the picture that gratitude will solve all of your problems, but sometimes it really will not. I actually don't even feel like I need to focus on gratitude anymore because like I said I really thought it would fix my problems and I thought I was at fault because I wasn't gracious for what I had and that's why my life was so terrible and that quite frankly had nothing to do with it I was very grateful for everything that I had excluding my relationship and at this current point in my life I am very grateful for everything that I have I appreciate all the relationships that I have my apartment my job I could have a little bit more gratitude towards my job but I genuinely do sit back and think about how lucky I am a lot and I've noticed that because I'm in that headspace good things keep coming to me that's what I've always wanted in my life it just never worked with my relationship because there was an outside influence in that that was severely unhealthy so I'm not worried about gratitude anymore I think I can switch that up because I already feel like that's just something naturally ingrained into me that I already have the last word we have is freedom and that is fucking hilarious I don't know why I want it for like I don't know what thing I was imagining when I was thinking of freedom when I was with my ex but maybe that was foreshadowing all along because I always did feel so fucking like shackled and before I even looked at this vision board before I even remembered that that was on there I've been saying lately how much I've been feeling free and I can't remember the last time I felt this way I feel like I can do anything. So I think I'm gonna keep that word just for like kind of a reminder of where I came from and also like how I wanna continue feeling because it's been so nice to feel that way. I think that's mostly it. I kinda of talked about general themes. There are a few things in here that I didn't get into specifics of, like 75 hard. I don't know if I wanna redo that anytime this year. I can definitely see me starting it before the end of the year. I just don't really know when. I don't wanna do it right now because that kind of is limiting that feeling of freedom and I think I want to get better with my health before I start that. Sure, if I started it, it would help me with my health in turn, but I know what I'm like as soon as I stop doing challenges like that. I usually fall off, so I don't know, honestly, if that's gonna happen again. I think I'm gonna keep it off the vision board just because I don't think I want it like looming over me right now. I just want to do it if I wanna do it later, if that makes sense. Uh, I have two quotes in here. The attitude you bring to the day is what the day will bring to you. Great attitude, great day. I love that. I think I wanna keep that one and then I'm creating the life of my dreams I think I also want to keep just because I am creating the life of my dreams oh and we also had this five thousand dollars in savings I think that's hilarious because I just had five thousand dollars in savings I actually got up to it at the beginning of this month and I just pulled out everything because I went a little too hard on spending this month and I just need a reset and I'll talk about that in a few days in my monthly reset video but I definitely think I'm keeping that on because it's very possible and I want it back okay so now for the next like 20 30 minutes or so I am going to sit here and scroll through Pinterest looking for new things that I want to put on this new vision board and after that we'll hop onto my computer and we'll start making the new one
Okay, so for the final portion of this video, I'm gonna take this to Canva. This is where I had my previous vision board and this is where I'll be making my new one. I did upload all of the things that I got from Pinterest and they are kind of all over the place. So I don't know, there's gonna be a lot of stuff going down here. So I'm, first of all, gonna have this vision board duplicated and then I'm gonna make a blank page. I want to delete all of the things that I don't want, at least for a fact on my new vision board. Although I don't think many of these are actually coming over with me. I don't know, honestly, let's just start eyeballing this. So for this one, I think I want like four or five main categories. So first kind of continuing this theme of beauty and the health section, I kind of want those to intertwine. I think I'm gonna bring over this running picture, this meditation picture, this girl doing a handstand. And then I also want these nails, this hike, this other hike. Honestly, I have a lot of hikes in here apparently. I also think I'm gonna have to go back to Pinterest to find more depending on what I want. So one of these hikes is actually a specific one that I wanna do in Colorado. It's like this crazy amount of stairs. So I want this one in here for sure. I think I'm gonna put this handstand girl kind of going over it like this. It looks so funky. But yeah, I want my flexibility back and I also want my trick back so that is definitely coming with me and I'll put runner girl maybe right here and this other hiking picture and then the meditation picture I don't know if I have a health specific quote I do have this one which I think is really good and I think I'm gonna put this one like right here I think I might also bring over this sauna one I really like saunas and I never do them. Then I think I'm gonna move into the beauty stuff. I think I'm gonna keep this picture of the jeans and I want this hair as well. I think I'm gonna like overlap the nails cause they just look so odd over this quote. I don't think I like any of these outfits that I have on my original vision board for this year, but I really like this one that I had saved earlier. I feel like this is one of the most me outfits I've ever seen. So this is definitely going on here. I'm gonna carry over this confidence text because as I said earlier, it's still a very applicable. And I also think this one about the attitude, still relevant and still needs to be put near the beauty stuff because it's relevant specifically to that, to me at least. This is already a good like fourth of the board, I would say. It's looking good. Okay, I think there's still a couple more like beauty things that I wanna put in here. Let's get this earring because I do wanna like do more with my piercings. And there's also this tattoo that I really want. I'm gonna crop it so that I can't tell what part of the body it's on because I don't think that's where I want mine. I wonder if I can background remove this one. So that'd be really cool to just have the outline. I guess honestly, I probably can just do it myself. Okay, this is really hard just because of how thin it is. Mm, but honestly, like it came out that bad. I can also put like a little shadow over it. There, that looks cool. I think that's all for beauty. Now I think, oh, there's like a few more health ones in here. So I do have this one of a girl sleeping. This has more to do with like emotional, mental health than physical. So I think this could be relevant as well. And then I guess we can bring the books. I have some other book ones and some other writing ones in here, I believe. And I also have this water one. Just gonna randomly see how many I can fit in here without it looking like too forced. Okay, that was easier than I thought. And I really do want a few more writing ones in here just because I wanna get back into writing. It's like really important to me. And actually, I think this is a nice little segue into home stuff. So I do have like some bookshelves in here because I did mention earlier, I want to get a physical bookshelf again and start like reading physical books. So that's really relevant. I have a few like apartment pictures in here. I want some of these to be bigger though. Hmm, okay, you know what actually? Apartment stuff, it's hard to explain where my mind's going. So like this is like physical health then we're going to like the looks and confidence and beauty then we're going into like mental health and then that comes into like my physical space and then I want to bring in like the seasonal celebration stuff and like celebrating tiny wins so like I have a few things that are like Christmassy in here and then this one's like Valentine's even though Valentine's Day is 
done. I still want to like celebrate those things. I'm also going to put this picture of some drinks in here because this is going to go into like relationships, friendships mostly. Like I want to make some girlfriends again. It's been so long and I want to have a cute little group. It's honestly relevant to like these holiday celebrational things because I would hope that I would make a group of girlfriends who would do all this shit with me like we have like a Valentine's day shit like that just be like cute and wholesome together yeah there's a bunch of like girls nights stuff in here so i guess let's just keep leading into that and this will go into like natural progression of apartment stuff too because like hopefully i would host a girls night that's like the dream i want this quote that says or quote i don't know this manifestation that says i have lots of healthy connections and friendships we are manifesting and i think i do want the i'm creating the life of my dreams one but i want it to be like more centered i think i'm gonna put apartment stuff up here it's really hard with apartment stuff because yeah i can find some that fit like the overall vibe that i want but i don't like putting stuff that i can't like fully envision me in and this one's probably like the closest i got but still not really what i want the left one's kind of what i want to look like at night and then this is kind of how i would want it to look in the day let me bring over this picture of the tree now we're almost out of picture pictures from the original board. Let me put this savings with the apartment and then I want a picture of a Jeep. This one has flowers in it. I think it looks really cute. I just saw it come up on my feed while I was like scrolling around. I was like, you know what? I doubt I'm gonna be able to get a car this year, but why not? Okay, some more apartment stuff. I really did like this one, even though I probably will never play Hogwarts Legacy. And I don't own a PlayStation. I just thought like the cozy sitting in bed with the mounted TV, like that's what I really want. The vibes are very much there. And this kind of brings me into like some of the these. I have some, I don't like this controller, but like some Xbox movie nights, like just, I don't know, relaxing. I like this one of Tangled because Tangled is probably like my favorite movie ever. So that's really cute since I like this Xbox controller more. <laughs> Let's do background remover for this one and kind of cover the other controllers. I want Xbox again and I want a PlayStation too. Manifesting more consoles for myself. This is getting complex. I want this picture of a Noah Khan concert. I did go to a Noah Khan concert, but I'm more so trying to manifest events occurring. I don't know what yet. Like that's kind of the point is I have no idea what's in store, but I want to do like more random events that I wouldn't picture happening. Okay, maybe getting like too many screens in here. Less screens. Gonna put another picture of some girlies, girly pops. I think this good things are coming one is a good thing to put in here. And then I want the freedom one. Maybe right here with the car. Should I put it down here? Yeah, actually let's keep it down here. Oh my god. Okay, wait. I'm running out of space. I need to condense. Bringing back this camera because like I said, I really want that like photography vibe. And then I guess I'll put the editing as well. Kind of a necessary evil of doing YouTube videos. And then let's move over this subscribers one. Let me upload my current icon picture and look at that solid definitely feel like i need like one other thing right here for content creation but i'm out of pictures for that and i'm almost out of pictures in general but let's fill in the rest of the gaps get some more relaxing with another book and a little hammock i live by a reservoir so i have been wanting to come relax by the lake and read specifically a lot I literally only have like two more pictures left and my last thing is of course i have to bring men into this because i am a hopeless romantic and even though my last one was kind of like very much prioritizing a man and i don't want to do that again i'm a relationship girly so once again manifesting the healthy happy relationship okay and i had to get a few more to fill in the gaps so still trying to keep them on theme got this picture of a girl taking a picture that's what i want everyone's view of me to be in the summer because i want to be taking so many damn pictures actually not even just in the summer just in general i always want to be getting that content i think i want this one to be background removal too can do it like i don't know like that all right i don't know about these hands maybe let's put it down here there's a lot going on here. I'm starting to get like overwhelmed by it. <laughs> I just need one more picture. 
I still didn't use this one. I'd cut it out. So let's do this one too. Okay, I definitely think I like this one a lot more. Style-wise, it looks almost identical. There's a lot of repeats obviously. And there's also some of the same themes coming through. But whereas this one was really like, all of this beauty stuff was very externally focused. There was like a really, really small content creation section, in my opinion. There was all this travel and then all this like domesticated stuff down here. And there were a lot of fillers. Like all of these were kind of just me throwing random stuff in there. I basically centered it around this corner and this corner. And then all of this was kind of just filling in the space. For this one, we have the centerpiece of I'm creating the life of my dreams, which is the goal. We have apartment aesthetics up here, which is not too, too big of a focus, but still something I want in the back of my mind. Honestly, a good bit of content creation stuff. It probably takes up about the same amount of space, but to me, this is a bit more impactful than this corner was for some reason. <laughs> I don't know. I think this picture is doing a lot for me. There's a couple of external beauty focused things, but a lot of the beauty is more health focused, like going on hikes, running, doing meditation, sleeping and drinking enough water. And there's really a lot of stuff like for friendships and relationships, because I think that's probably the area where I'm most lacking now. Lately, I've been really thinking of that, that like I really need to get hyper focused on like trying to build connections with people because I don't really have a lot of friends these days. And a lot of wanting that friendship is just to like do things with people more often that aren't expensive. Like really just romanticizing the small things like having a movie night, you know, making homemade pizza, stuff like that. It would be like really fun if I had a group of girls to hang out with. Oh yeah, I think I need a third word in here though because I have confidence and freedom. Hope might be a good one because I have gratitude or maybe like belief. Trust is a good one. I think I'm gonna do trust. Trust, confidence, and freedom. This might be it, boys. Okay, and I think I'm gonna put trust up here just because it looks like the space that needs something. And then I'm just gonna play around with the coloring a little bit, but I honestly think this looks really good. Oh, I haven't even like shown the whole thing, have I? Because my face is in the way. <coughs> She's cute. I'm excited. Okay guys, that is all for this video. I'm not really the type to use my vision board as a wallpaper or like a phone background or anything, but I'm really glad I made it just so that I can like see where my life purpose has shifted over the last few months. And I hope you guys also enjoyed watching me go through this process. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like and a comment. And if you're feeling generous, you can even subscribe. I do hope to see you guys all in the next one, but if not, bye bye